The Types of Shell Shockers Players Part 2. Starting off with number 5. Number 5, the OG. This player is for one they wear, as not many players have played for long enough to be considered an OG. In my mind, to be considered an OG, you must have been playing since 2019 or before. This is one of the categories I fall in, and I can say experience of what being an OG was like. 2019 skins were once a very long time ago available in your shop, and will never will be again. And this has to be one of the highest skill levels out there, because having 5 years of experience is an advantage over anyone with less. This player is very rare though, as you won't often see players with 2019 skins, so when you do, make sure to shout them out. That does it for number 5. Number 6 is a streaker. Streaker is like the sweat mentioned in part 1, but even more skilled. These players soar above the rest of the lobby in their stream, and whenever they die, they come back and get another. This might just be a sweat play advancing skill level, and these players normally dominate the lobby unless there are better players. In many lobbies, some types of these players can be well known for being good and getting kill streaks. As after all, playing in public lobbies is the best way to find out your own skill level. The first two players mentioned are not nice to go up against, but the next guy can be funny to go up against. Number 7, the RPG player. Depending on the level of skill that the specific RPG player is, will determine the outcome of the fight. New RPG players are very fun to play against because mostly they completely fail to kill you. It's funny that noob RPG players always make the same mistake. The same player often makes the mistake of attempting to fight in close quarters multiple times. However, experienced RPG players can be very hard to fight. Some experienced RPG players know exactly the distance from which the RPG still deals damage in close range. Learning to fight against experienced RPG players is possible, just as you can learn to fight against any other gun well. My best tip for RPG players is to just be as close to them as possible and have a good close quarters gun to fight them. But at that point, let's just move on to number 8. Number 8 is not a very liked player, as many players don't like number 8. Because number 8 is a spawn camper. This is the same player as the guy who tries to get as many kills as possible in the same game. You need to grind and are desperate for some more eggs, and I can see why some players do it. But as a spawn camper is a player who remembers exactly where the enemies are most likely to spawn. This player's favourite way to kill enemies is a spawn kill, and they get better at spawn killing eventually. Because if you want to spawn kill someone, you have to fire at the exact right time, otherwise they'll take no damage and fight back. Most of the time, this player has an above average KD when they can pull this. These players always have a few favourite maps as well. Power Siege is one of the few best maps for spawn camping players. This is because Power Siege has some good camping spots above and nearby spawns. Easy to notice the bridges on the edge of the map on both sides. These cover both team spawns well. The last thing to say about spawn campers is the best way to counter them is to move as soon as you're able to spawn in. Because that will throw them off from you and it'll give you a chance to fight back. But that does it for the types of Shell Shockers players part 2. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Peace out.